Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Friday, June 28, 2019. This is my checking in for my coping with schizophrenia update for today. It's 2, I'm sorry, 12.59 p.m. in Rochester, New York. Um, I wanted to do a video on why, as a mentally ill person, I became an atheist. Um, because one of the things that can happen in schizophrenia or any psychosis are religious delusions where you hear voices, you think you're hearing voices from God or from the devil or from angels or spirits of any kind. Um, I don't believe in those things. And if I have delusions or hallucinations, it's a part of me that can say, this doesn't make any sense. I don't even believe in these things. So for me, my atheism keeps my head clear doesn't mean I don't have delusions, but I have enough self-awareness to uh, not take them seriously. If I think I'm hearing something that's from, I don't know, Satan or demons or whatever, I could say to myself, I don't actually believe in those things. And so while the voices sound real, they're not coming from any other place other than my own head. There are no demons. There are no spirits. There is no God or gods. Um, and I wonder sometimes if some of the most religiously extreme people, be they Christian, Muslim, Jewish, Catholic, Protestant, whatever, I wonder if they're not mentally ill. Um, they believe in fantasies and fairy tales. Um, for example, evolution is a fact. It's not just a theory. It's a, it's, um, a theory, but a theory of accepted scientific facts. The story of Adam and Eve in the Bible is not true. The story of creation in the Quran is not true. Any creation story, whether it's Hindu, Buddhist, whatever, they're not true. The earth is 13.7 billion years old. God doesn't exist. And eventually the human race is going to disappear like every other species on earth eventually does. Um, now a lot of people are going to say, I hate God and I worship Satan because I'm an atheist. Or I'm an atheist because I'm on a sin and get away with it. No, um... Religious people commit more sins than atheists do through violence and religious wars and terrorism. Again, it's not just Muslims. Anyone who's got a religious extremist point of view, um, extreme Christians hate extreme Muslims. Both extreme Muslims and extreme Christians hate gays and want to kill gay people. This kind of fucking nonsense doesn't make any sense to me. And it's easier for me, if I'm going to be involved in politics, to do it from the point of view of an atheist. Because religion and politics, unfortunately, in today's world, are heavily mixed in with each other. And it's hard not to get stressed out from all of that. Um, so my being an atheist, I think, uh, keeps my head clear as far as my own personal hallucinations and delusions. And it keeps my head clear as far as politics. I consider myself to be in the political center. And um, I reject the extremism of violent Muslims, violent Christians. Um, for example, there's a pastor on YouTube, um, his name is, I think, Stephen L. Anderson, or Sanderson, something like that. And he's railing on again about how he hates fags and the government should, the U.S. government should uh, put people to death for being gay. It's that kind of fucking nonsense that turns me off to religion. And also, on top of all that, there's no proof that God exists. I've never seen Jesus walk on water. I've never seen... Mohammed flying to heaven on a winged horse. I have never seen any of these things. I have never seen any evidence for God's existence. So all of this um, makes sense for my mental illness not to believe in these things and to keep myself in the center politically because politics and religion unfortunately can't be separated in today's world. And religion is extremely dangerous to scientific advancement because when you believe in fairy tales about Adam and Eve and a talking snake or a talking donkey or something else in some religious tech that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Um, I keep myself as centered as much as I possibly can um, and not fall into religious extremism. And I wonder how many of the religious extremists out there are mentally ill. Maybe not all of them technically, um, but they certainly act like they're mentally ill. Um, when a Muslim blows up a building or a Christian says he wants to kill faggots, which are gay people, um, that's extremism and that's violence, condoning violence. 
and um, it's just a sign of mental instability to me. Um, so that's why I became an atheist, and I don't like being involved in politics, but today you can't really get rid of it. And what the hell does politics have to do with my mental illness? Well, quite a bit. If I'm watching an extremist video, I have to know enough about myself not to get caught up in believing extreme points of view, um, which is something mentally ill people are susceptible to. So um, keeping myself political center, rejecting left-wing social justice warriors and terrorist groups like Antifa, which claim to be anti-fascist, but they're just as violent as any Muslim group is violent. Um, and they're extremists. Now, I want to point out that not all Muslims commit acts of terrorism, or all Christians, or all Catholics, or all Buddhists. Um, even Buddhists can commit acts of terrorism as they do in Myanmar, formerly called Burma. Um, some of the more radical Buddhists are killing Muslims, which I don't condone, which is the whole fucking point of what I'm saying. If even Buddhists can commit acts of murder and violence, for religious reasons, then to me, uh, mental illness, unfortunately, seems to get wrapped up in religious delusion, and people are not people are not thinking clear, clearly. And um, for me, I just can't take religious extremism and political extremism and racism and nonsense like that. Um, what gay people do in the privacy of their own home, or even publicly is not something I have a problem with as long as they're adults. Um, so if you're going to advocate murdering somebody, you're a religious extremist and you're probably got some own, some mental issues of your own, possibly trying to cover up your own homosexuality, um, which I believe is what Stephen L. Anderson is doing. Um, I think that's his name. It's, it's Anderson or Sanderson, but he's on YouTube. Um, and he's the pastor of a independent Baptist church, as he puts it. Um, he claims to believe in the Bible, and that only Jesus Christ can save you, and that I, as an atheist, worship Satan, which is ridiculous because Satan doesn't exist. An atheist can't hate, some, hate something, God, or, that he doesn't believe exists. You can't hate that which does not, does not exist. And that's true for Satan as well. You don't worship Satan when you're an atheist because Satan isn't real. So I guess that's all I have to say. Maybe I'm just rambling on about nothing, but if anybody has comments or suggestions, leave them in the comment section.